let's get a hands-on demo for AWS EBS or Elastic Block Store. So if you're ready, let's move on. So as we already discussed the theoretical part for AWS EBS volumes, let's see the hands-on demo then. So first of all, for EBS volumes or to use the EBS volume, we need to create the instance. So I hope you already are aware of creating an EC2 instance right now for after going through all the sessions that we had. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on launch instance and we are going to select the free tier eligible Amazon Linux 2 AMI that we have and click on select and we'll select the general purpose c2.micro and the configuration details that we have here i don't want to change them because we are just going to see the ebs volumes so the next one that we have here is add storage and this is where we always used to skip this part so the root volume that we have here is the dev slash xvda and which is of size 8 gb and the volume type that we have here is general purpose ssd or the gp2 that i already told you uh, before uh, while we were discussing about the types of volumes that we have and delete on termination was enabled on this so once the instance were terminated this also used to get deleted and there is something that we used to miss here always and that was the add new volume so once you click on add new volume you get the ebs type okay so for this we'll be using now dev slash stb and i don't want to have any snapshots as of now we don't have any snapshots as of now so we'll leave it as it is and we will make it 2 gb for now and i'll use the general purpose gp2 itself and i won't select delete on termination for now and uh, i don't want to set any encryption policies as of now so it, i'll keep it not encrypted itself add tags so if you want to add tags you can add it i am going to add a tag here now so that is name and i will give it my ebs instance okay so i've given the name the value also i have given it ebs instance my ebs instance and then configure security details or the security groups so i'll go and select one that i've already created the one that i'm currently using that is the pytholic sg1 so when i click on this i can see the both the protocols that i have like the type that i have like http and ssh it gives me the option to connect uh, to the instance using ssh so this is fine for my needs right now and review and launch so here we have selected the Amazon Linux 2 AMI, the instance type is t2.micro, the security group is Pytholic SG1 for SSH and HTTP, the storage. Here you can see we have the root volume, dev xvda, and the EBS volume of 2GB that we have attached. So that is not encrypted as of now, and uh, delete on termination has been set to no. So click on launch. So before launching, you need to choose an existing keypad. I already have a keypad, so I'll just acknowledge that I already have one and click on launch instance. So now as you have uh, launched the instance, this is the one that we have recently launched. When you click on this, when you go here, you have the root device that is your dev slash xvda and the block devices that you have dev slash stb. That is the EBS volume that we have attached. So imagine EBS volumes to be like a pen drive that you usually use in your daily life. You have just attach it to your system or you connect it to your system and you're able to use it, isn't it? So it's just like that. It's a network drive that you have attached and that's how it works. Uh, so we'll go to the instance and we'll connect to the instance right now and we'll see how to actually mount it and how to actually make use of it. I'll copy the IP address that I have, the public IP and I'll connect to the machine using SSH. So to connect to the instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just type SSH EC2 hyphen user at the rate, the IP address obviously, and then hyphen I, and I'll just give ec 2pem key path. Okay, I'll just keep it under quotes. Okay, and I'll just hit enter, click on or uh, just press yes and then you are just connected so the first thing that you need to do is you need to check the path for all the drives that you have so lsblk is one of the commands that help you to check that so now that you have here is the 8gb one that we had is the xvda 
and the 2 GB, the EBS volume that we had is XVDB. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to create a file system out of it. So basically when you were using a new hard drive, you have created the partitions. What used to happen, you were not able to use it until and unless you had formatted that with a particular file system, isn't it? Let's suppose you're working on Windows and you had made a partition for three or four partitions and uh, in your C drive, you have already installed the operating system and the D drive, which was not formatted, you were not able to use it. So it used to ask to format it. You used to, I think, format it using FAT format or the NTFS that we had. And here also we'll do the same so that we can make use of it. The disk that you have here, the XVDB, is the EBS volume that we had attached to the 2GB one. Okay, to do that, we need to follow some simple steps. And those simple steps are already given by AWS. And uh, that is what we are going to follow right now. So I have the URL already open for us. And uh, this is the one that you're going to follow. So format and mount an attached volume. So with LSBLK, we have seen the, the type of uh, volumes that we have. So what we're going to do first is we're going to check whether there is any file system attached to our particular volume that we had. So for that, what you need to do is you need to type sudo file hyphen s and slash dev slash xvdb. Okay, and press enter. So if you get something like this slash dev slash xbdb data, that means that you don't have any file system attached to this particular volume. Uh, so to attach a particular volume, what you need to do is follow the simple steps now. So uh, what you need to do is you need to create a file system. So sudo mkfs or make file system hyphen t. I'm going to use ext4 here because that is one of my favorite file systems and uh, dev slash xvdp okay so just hit enter so if you see this output then uh, basically you are all good you already have created a file system and if i go back and run the same command again yes we have the file system ready linux revision 1 ext4 file system data and it also gives a uid for basically mounting it later on so after that once you have created this file system and you have the volume ready you can mount it to a particular directory that you want so what we are going to do is we are going to create a folder mkdir slash data so i'm going to create this folder data and i'm going to mount slash dev slash xvdb onto slash data so what so how to do it just type sudo mount slash dev slash slash xvdb and mount it to data okay so now if you do again lsblk you want to see the disk has been mounted to slash data that is the folder that we had created or the directory that we had created and uh, you can as well like once you have created the data folder you can as well iterate to that slash data sorry so you can as well iterate to that so mm, you don't have any files right now here so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a file sudo vim uh, okay sorry my text dot txt okay and i am going to write something welcome to the channel okay escape colon wq i already know that you guys already are aware of vim how to save the file and if i do a cat on the file that i have my text you get the output so the next thing that we want to do here is automatically mount an attached volume after the reboot so what happens here is uh, when you reboot the system or reboot the instance uh, the mount will be lost or the slash data mount that you have that you see here in lsblk that i wanted to show so here actually will get lost so what we are going to do is we are going to make it permanent so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to make an entry in the fs tab so for that the first thing that aws recommends is is to create a backup so to create a backup of the fs tab what we're going to do we are going to just copy it so sudo copy cp is the copy command for unix so etc slash fs tab and move it to or copy it to etc slash fs tab dot org okay so once you have done it you have created a copy so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to tell fs tab that listen there is a drive or there is a data folder that i have that i want you to 
mount every time that you reboot and we have to give that particular instruction to the fs tab okay so file system tab okay so what we are going to do is we are going to add an entry of our newly created mount point on the fs tab file so for that we just need to go to the sudo vim slash et we will edit it fs tab fs tab okay so this is basically how the fs tab file system looks like so this is the um, default mount point that we have which is xfs uh, file system and it mounts always so what we're going to do is we are going to add an entry so press i this is basically to insert into the file and the next thing that you need to do is slash dev slash xvdb okay then you need to enter the mount point that you want that is slash data the next thing that you want to have is the file system ext4 and then what you need to do is defaults or you can basically copy this defaults comma no fail comma zero two okay so this will help you to so this will help you have the mount point always there once you reboot the instance so that's it uh, i'm just going to save this file now that's it and i'm going to unmount this so now again i just want to tell you lsblk okay this slash data we are going to unmount this so to do that sudo u mount okay slash data okay so i am in slash data and i'm trying to unmount it so that's the most stupid thing that you can do come out of that okay now it's already unmounted so if i type again lsblk now this is already unmounted so but what we have done here we have told fs tab that every time i reboot i want the file system to be available to me or the slash data to be mounted in xvdb so what i'm going to do i'm going to mount it again so to check that whether it is able to mount it or not we will type sudo mount hyphen a press enter do lsplk yes we have mounted now if i go back to slash cd data and check my file is already there so this is quite interesting isn't it and this is how you can make use of your ebs volumes and this is really really important for the exam point of view i will make the link available to you guys in the description below for the documentation as well so you can give it a try so but and one thing you need to remember is for ec2 instances that we have and the free tier eligibility that you have here 30 gb of space of ebs volume is available for use for the free tier account so it's a free tier account you can go ahead and create your own and use ebs volumes as well so let's move on